Hey everyone, so today I'm just going to show you a quick Twine tutorial on how to import images to use in your Twine store. You can also use them as background images. So um, there's two ways to do it. You can either go to Story, Import Image, and from File. You can also do it from the web URL, but it's much easier if you just download the picture onto your computer, save it in your Finder, and then go to um, just add it through File. You can also just drag and drop. So here I have two images that I downloaded. Make sure that you make them a very clear name and don't keep it as random letters and numbers because you'll be rewriting these names so it's much easier once they're understandable names. So you can just drag and drop. So once you add it in, it will say um, that it's imported successfully and it's going to give you this little code over here. So this is what you're going to be using when you want to show this picture. So this is square bracket, IMG, square bracket, baby space, dragon, double square bracket. That's because it corresponds to the name that I have over here. So, um, just to show you what that's going to look like, let's see a dragon. So now I'm going to type in exactly what it showed before. So be, So now it's going to go like a teal color. So when you close this, it's going to show an arrow directly corresponding to it so that you know that it's attached to this passage. It's only going to show on this passage unless you type it into every passage if you want to show that picture on whichever particular passage. So I'll just show you what that looks like when you go to build test play. See, it's just going to show a picture of a little dragon. So um, the other way you can do it is you can also um, have a picture as the entire background image for the entire story. So um, once again, you'll just drag and drop the picture. Um, you, here you can see the different size of the images. This is a small picture. That's why when it shows up over here, it's rather small. For a background image, you want it to be a much bigger size just to take up the entire size of the screen so make sure that you get a large picture format. So once again you just drag and drop it here it's going to tell you it's imported successfully. So now to make a background image you right click you do new style sheet here. So um, when you open this it's a CSS style sheet so we're just looking at the body right here. Just enter tab and then do background dash the dash is very important otherwise it won't work image colon and then exactly what showed up before, the little code. So you have red space dragon and close that. And that's all you have to add. So then you can see the arrow corresponding directly to it. So this will look like this. See, so you can see that's the entire page and then you can still have a little image going on too. So this is a larger image. That's why it's taking up most of the screen. Otherwise, if you take a small image, it's just going to be very small. Or um, if you change it to a small picture, it will be repeated over and over. So it's going to look like this. So it's totally up to you what you want your background to look like, but if you want just one solid picture, you have to use a rather large picture. So the other thing you can do is you can change it to a color as well. So once again, go into CSS style sheet, and then instead of background image, you want to change this to the word color, and then you can just insert any color here. So let's say you want it to be blue, so you just leave it like that, close it again, then you test play. It's going to show it as a giant blue background instead. So if you want it to be any other color that you want, what I suggest you do is you go on a website. I'm going to add the link here. This one's called Rapid Tables. So you can choose any color that you want. Say you want it in the pink scheme. Let's say we want this sort of purple. So um, you can use the code RGB. And so you're going to remember 196, 40, 191. So back in Twine, when you're here in the background color, you're going to take this off and do RGB. And then bracket 196, 40, 191. Oops, don't forget the commas between the numbers. So once you close that, now when you go to build your story, when you test it, it's going to have this purple color that we chose. You can choose any color. So that's essentially it. It's just showing you how to uh, add the images and the background images. So thanks for watching.